What is up, everybody? This is Russ with Collect What? And today I have got the V11. Mine finally came in. It actually took me from the uh, from the first day of of delivery start shipping until I got mine took eleven was it eleven or fourteen days? I got mine actually no it took thirteen days. Uh, it started shipping on the eleventh. I got mine on the twenty fourth. It took eleven days for me to get mine. This is the longest it has ever taken me to get a box. So, with that being said, I have to, in all honesty, admit, I, this is my second take at this video. I was opening it up and going on and running my mouth, and, you know, and realized that like two minutes into this, my camera had stopped recording, and I don't know why. So, I've already opened it, and I've busted the seal on things, but I haven't saw the books. And I really haven't got a good look at the artwork in it. Now, I did take the stickers out, but if you're going to knock me for stickers, we're here for the wrong reasons. So, with that being said, I'm going to do it again, and you'll see that I've already busted it. But there we go. I've got the V11 now. The V12 is July the 8th. With that being said, I'm going to pull my box out. Like I said, I already busted my seals, but I had not looked at them yet. Okay, so I've got those here. I'm going to set those to the side. All right, let's see what we got here in the Rebirth. Is that the name of this one? Is V11 the Rebirth? Hmm. Now, you know, it's going to be kind of hard to live up to the V10. Because not only in the V10 did we get the exclusive limited edition Spider-Woman number one sketch variant limited to 250 in the entire world. Or 300 or 250, something like that. Um, but also... For anybody that hasn't watched my channel or watched my videos, I hit an amazing Spider-Man, number 14, first appearance of the Green Goblin, valued at one, three, zero, zero, thirteen hundred dollars Now, of course, this box is smaller. I don't have a slab, so, okay, I'll just, I'll have to live with that. I'm not happy, but, you know... You know, it's kind of hard to expect to hit an amazing Spider-Man thir or 14 every time. So, I'll accept what I get. Okay, let's see here. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't know who is this by news, I think. This is a Planet Awesome exclusive. It's Apocalypse. Standing over to X-Men is number 45 of 100. And is that Noons right there, it looks like? Planet Awesome? That's pretty cool. I don't know who that is. I'll have to check that out. This signed artwork. You know, I like the signed artwork, but it's kind of sometimes, you know, I don't know everybody's signature. And I'll put that back in there for safekeeping. And we will take in... I'll email if I don't, if anybody in the comments, please put that down there for me. And I will take in, what did I do? With my, oh, let's put it back in there. I will take in, email them and see if I can find out what this, who this is so um, I can find out about it. Now, all of these won't probably be going into my personal collection. So if you see anything you like, I've got a link down in the bottom to my eBay page, and they'll be listed up there. And I do list all of my 
all of my um, stuff on um, eBay with the best offer because, you know, I'm willing to work with people. This, we, we can talk. We can always talk. You know, I can say no, and you can say no, and we can go from there. All right, let's see. This first piece is, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. I hadn't saw this on none of the unboxing videos. Check it out. Sony on Marvel Presents Spider-Man Far From Home, July 2019. Wow, that is sweet. Sorry for the glare. And it's signed by Boss Logic. That is too cool. Wow. I really like that. I don't know if that's going to go into my personal collection or not. Let's see that. Okay. Oh, I got something. I see Jim Lee on it. So this is Jim Lee. <laughs> now this is, this is killer. I like that. A Harley Quinn in an army outfit, I guess, with all kind of little stuffed animal superheroes around her. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. And one more. Ah, oh, yes. This is the Rejected. This is JPG McFly's. This is the cover that we got. This is the comic we got last time. But when he did these comics, they destroyed like, I don't know, 700,000 copies of this comic. And they kept the covers. And they put this rejected on there. Let me see if I can put it up there so you can see it. Rejected. Because he just hated, you know, to throw all these things away. Rejected 01, this is number 112 out of 300. So they kept 300 of the covers and placed them in here and got them. That's cool. I like that. Okay. So that's four pieces of artwork. All right. Let me put these back here in the box. Let's set this over here. All right. So now we're going to go in here and look at this. Now we have... Spider-Man booth, please join in us. Oh, and right off the top, I got a certificate of authenticity. Let me set that down. And inside it says Superior Plus. The Superior Plus is going to be July the 6th. And of course, for anybody that doesn't know what the Superior Plus is, this is a show for anybody that bought a superior plus box you they will take and have drawings for free comics and free things so i mean it's pretty cool where you get stuff in addition to what you already bought you can't i mean to me that's pretty win-win okay so i got this all right i got my, my seal is already broke so uh, they got some flipped that way. Well, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the certificate on the very bottom. And I'm going to flip everything over. So, we'll see what we got. Alright. Very first one we got is, boom. Well, I don't know if that's a sketch variant. That's pretty cool. It looks like a Perillo. This is a Perillo cover. That's cool. This looks like a amalgamation of all the X-Men, like Storm and Angel's Wings and Wolverine or X-23's Claws. And I don't know. It looks pretty sweet. I don't know what it is. I'll have to check it out and we'll do that when I go to find out the prices. Alright, next one. Oh, it's pretty thick. That is... Alright, Wonder Woman number 750. We got in the last box end of each end, I got the Boss Logic 750. 
and this is Jim Lee. This is a Jim Lee cover. I thought it kind of looked like Jim Lee. Hmm. So we'll see what the value is of that when I get back. Okay. Next is oh God, Rick and Morty presents Jerry. Pluto is a planet. Change my mind. That's a trip. Okay. Next. Oh, the Batman Who Laughs. Is signed. Yeah, this is signed by Tony Daniel. Or Tony Daniel, I'm sorry. Not Daniels. Wow. I, you know, when I get done with this, I'm going to run everything through the eBay grinder and see what it comes out to what kind of prices these are going so we can see what kind of prices we got well there just went that value drop that one. Oh no there we go bag did the board did its work mm-hmm yeah board did its work that's good ha. Mm. Okay, next. Oh, this is a Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy one. I don't know which issue, but I'm sure, well, I'm sure that's what it is, Poison Ivy. And this is a E, a Y, E, King, Y King. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. Wow, that is a sharp looking cover, though. I like that. Good artwork. Now, for anybody that I didn't mention this, for anybody that doesn't know, this is Spider Man Boost, like signature big box. It's uh, 250 shipped out the door, and it contains 10 boxes or 10 books, artwork, um, just different prizes like that. And um, they only do this like four times. A year four to five times a year every every so many months like the next one this is uh, I'm actually doing this this is in June they released it in June they'll start taking orders again I believe in July so uh, and it'll probably get here in August so every other month something like that okay now next is oh okay fantastic this is fantastic for number one I do know that yeah, this is by Art Germ. Yeah, and I don't know about that value though, twenty bucks. I don't know if that's right. We'll see. And for anybody also, the one thing about this, the that Spider-Man boost price tags usually run a little high. I'd say ten to twenty percent. Sometimes it can be more, uh, sometimes less. But you know, uh, all in all, it's pretty good. Oh, oh, absolute carnage and Deadpool. I don't know what issue this is or if that is. I figure if it's Deadpool, it's somebody versus Deadpool or Deadpool's killing this or destroying that. But I think that's a pretty sweet looking cut. All right, next. All right, Psylocke. That's pretty sweet. I don't know what cover this is for, but we'll find out. This is Jay and Saletto. Jay and Saletto. It's pretty sharp. Oh. Wow. This is pretty sweet. This is a Myco, I think. Uh, I, I don't know if this is a Venom or an Amazing Spider-Man, but we'll have to see. That's pretty sharp. All right, and the last one. For an even look at the front. Number 22 of 50, Certificate of Authenticity. Uh, this certifies, this certificate verifies that Todd McFarlane 
autograph the accompanying Spawn Number no. 1 comic book at his home in Phoenix, Arizona on Saturday, October the 14th to commemorate the 25th anniversary of Spawn's first issue. Only 50 copies were witnessed and verified for this special sign. Boom. And it is my lord out of its mind. As Wink Inc. would say. Wow. Wow. And there doesn't look to be a mark on this. Oh, MG. That is too sweet. Now, I don't know what it's going for, but we're going to find out. You know, I know there's a lot of these, uh, I mean, spawn number ones out there, but I don't know. Wow. So we're going to check this out and see what we got. Wow. Okay. I'm going to go through them and I'll be right back after I put them through the eBay grinder. Okay, I'm back. So it took me a few minutes to go through here and see what we have, but it's pretty good. I'm not going to fuss. I didn't get no slab, but it's pretty good. Um,. This Batman that laughs, Tony Daniel signature. The only thing I don't like about it is no COA. And, but you know, we'll take what we get, but you know, we like COAs. This is all on um, eBay, but I found a copy that sold for $60. Wow. I didn't know that Tony Daniel was that popular or that much in demand, but I said that's pretty cool. So, 60 bucks. Wow. Next one, <laughs> Rick and Morty. Now, there again, um, this was a little bit under what they had it priced at. They had it priced at, um, they had it priced at 25 and I found it last sold price on there was 20 bucks. So that's better than what I thought though for Rick and Morty. Okay. Uh, my next one, Wonder Woman 750. There again, it's about the same thing. This came back with a price tag of about 20 bucks last price. So there again, it wasn't, it's not as popular as some of the other versions. Like right now, if you get your Boss Logic one, grade it, and it's a 9.8, it's running for about 130 bucks, and I think about 90 bucks and a 9.6, somewhere right in there. So that's pretty cool. Now this one I had to open up and find out. This is an astonishing X-Men number one, Perillo sketch variant. They're calling this like a sketch variant, and it last sold for. Price tags on it this time, 20 bucks. I think that's a pretty. It's. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I just don't think that's his best work. So, but the value was there on it. Okay. This Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy number three. Now this is the ones where you see. Inflation, inflated, inflated. The last sold price on eBay for this comic, 10 bucks. $40 price tag. It's 75% over marked up. I mean, come on. That, that's, that's off a lot. 10 bucks. Mm. <laughs> now this one is a Myco, like I thought, but... This is not Venom. This is, oh, I do it every time. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 10. Virgin variant. It was really cool. Last sold price on eBay for this, 45 bucks. 
So there again, the price tag was off, but in the wrong way this time. Okay, now this Hellion number, this is Hellion's number one. This is, oh God, I forgot. Yeah, Anticelidal, Anticelidal, Anticelidal. Um, and this is going, again, this is marked up over half. Last sold price on eBay, 15 bucks. Okay, next one. <laughs> Absolute Carnage versus Deadpool. Number two. Uh, last sold price on eBay, 20 bucks. And this is that's exactly right. 20 bucks. So they hit it again right on right on the head. I think that I think this is a pretty good shape. I think that might be a little spine tick right there or right there. So this is probably about a 9.6. Even though those don't color break, I don't know. I don't know. I think that'd probably be up to the grader, but that's pretty good. Next is this is the Fantastic Four number one. Uh, last sold on eBay, twelve dollars. You can actually some people are selling all four of these art journal covers for twenty bucks, nineteen ninety five. Somebody was selling them for so that's pretty. I think I just got lucky with a 12 buck price. Somebody had paid that for it. Now the last one, the spawn. I didn't show you. Here is the certificate of authenticity. And that last line down there, only 50 copies were witnessed and verified at this special signing, or for this special signing. I found one like this, sold on eBay, for two hundred and sixty dollars, so I felt that was pretty good. Yeah, I didn't feel like that was too bad at all. Wow. So I added up everything. Oh, 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 no. I've got to do my artwork. I didn't tell you my artwork. Yep. I don't want to take and forget that. Okay, no longer than these have been out. Someone has already sold one for 40 bucks on eBay. So we got uh, just a new standard of kind of like 40 bucks for it. So I didn't think that was too bad. Here. Someone has got this. This sold for sixty dollars. This was a sixty dollars. This is actually from. I traced down the picture. This is from Harley Quinn and the Suicide Squad number one, uh, free edition at the San Diego Comic Con. I think in two thousand eighteen. That's where this cover comes from. And last but not least, <laughs> someone on eBay sold this for $5.50 with $5.50 handling. Yep, 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 yep. So somebody got a deal on some Boss Logic artwork. Uh, I don't think that I'll be selling mine if I decide to sell it for... Uh, for five dollars and fifty cents, uh, I'll probably be selling mine for you know uh, at least forty bucks. <laughs> but I just thought that that was funny. Five dollars and fifty cent. Wow. And the last one, I ain't gonna pull it to get out again. But the apocalypse over the X Men, I couldn't find one exactly like this one. Uh, so I'm gonna have to you know just get with it and see if that is Nunez on there. But uh, I don't know. So uh, if I was to sell it, it would probably be around 25 bucks, something like that. It all depends. I don't know. 
because you know I just couldn't find. I found other apocalypse artwork selling for around forty bucks each, and I found one that sold for around forty bucks. But it's not the same, so I don't want to compare apples to oranges. So drum roll, please. This wound up being the comics. The first nine comics had a combined value of two hundred twenty-two dollars on eBay. I thought, okay, well that's actually not too bad. And then with the value of what I found for that spawn number one, that was 260 So giving me a combined total of 482 bucks for the comics. If I add the artwork into it, at the suggested prices I've talked about, we're looking at another 180 another 180 bucks for a total of 680 $62. Did I do as good as my last one? No. You're not going to do that good every time. But did I still do pretty doggone good? Oh, yeah. I made out pretty good, I think. 250 in, 662 out. Yeah. That's, that's a difference of what? $407 to the good? More than that, a little bit different, yeah, a little, a little, a little bit more now, I think. So, yeah. Well, with that being said, this is my video on collect what, and this is my V11. So, in the meantime, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and whatever you do, keep collecting.